Hi. Hi. Uh, Eleanor in Lincoln. Yes. Yes, Jane, how are we? Hello. Hello. I've just been listening to you for the first time, actually. You're joking. I am not joking. Are you listening in Lincoln? Yes, I am. Get away with you. Yes, I am. And what for? Yes, now then. Now then. About the prostitutes. The prostitutes, yes. yes. You uh, you obviously jumped in the gun and assuming that everybody is married who sees a prostitute. Ah, I see what you mean. No, I'm not a prostitute. Right. And if somebody wants to go and visit one, I'm very, pl I'm very pleased to hear that. Is that the pr prerogative or not? Is it, no, it is the prerogative, but in actual fact, it's not legal, is it? Why shouldn't it be legal? So you think we should legalise prostitution? I think it should be legalised, yes. Now, why do you say that? Because it would get the perverts off the streets. Yeah, but why should all the poor girls who are on drugs and everything have to cope with the perverts? We're not talking about people that are on drugs. Well, that's what a lot of your prostitutes are doing it for. No, not necessarily. Most of them have got a habit. But you are assuming that they are drug takers. Yes. They may not be. Most of them so are. Let's just take prostitutes as selling their body for sex. But why, really? would, why would you want to sell your body for sex? Why not? You know. If you've got, if you're not a good wife to your husband and yeah. your husband feels the urge to go and fill his old self with... Empty the lead out his pencil. Then that's their prerogative. Right. Like it's the prostitutes. She, it, it's entirely up to her. It's entirely up to them. If they want to go and see one, or visit one, then so do it. Would you not be as well paying the missus to do her stuff? But you are assuming that the man is married. But most of them are out there that go to prostitutes. not be married, it could be young chap. How many people go to Amsterdam? How many young chaps go to Amsterdam? No, we're not talking about Amsterdam, darling. We're talking about this country. Right, not gonna go to, country. You're not going to go to Amsterdam after your tea for a quick one too, are you? I don't go to Amsterdam for a quick one too, buckle my shoe anyway. Yes. But what I'm saying is... I'm not talking about you, I'm talking about the men. You, you were talking about a married man visiting yes, a prostitute. Yes, there's mostly married, married men that visit yeah, prostitutes. What I'm saying is, they may not all be yeah, married. No, true, fair point. I mean, they may not it's all be married. the married man. But the bulk of them are married. No, you can't say that. Yes, most of them are married. No, I might be. Why do you fancy me? <laughs> no, I certainly don't. Well, yeah, you might do, you know. No, I don't. I think, think you're just jumping to the I've got my point over and I wouldn't. Fancy I, think, I, think you're in love with me. I think you're in love with me. I think that's what's up with you. She's she's fallen in love with McClure. There we are. Lady from Lincoln, fallen in love with Scotty McClure. Dinky do. Right, if you've just joined us, welcome to the programme. If you wonder what we're talking about, we're talking about uh, prostitution. Should we legalise it? And also, should we allow television advertising for escort girls and for abortion services? I suppose um, if... Uh, ever it is quite acceptable to it, then uh, the only trouble is that it is liberalising and may even be going towards legalising um, things like prostitution. The um, industry, the television industry would also like to show violent films like Reservoir Dogs, Pulp Fiction and Natural Born Killers. So there we are. Um, and also uh, let religious groups appeal for funds on the telly. So what about that? So tell us what you think about that. Should we be more lax with our advertising on telly? Um, or should we tighten up big style? Also, should we legalise prostitution? And um, then men going out, they could say to the missus, just nipping out for some sex, love. And uh, I'll be back in about an hour and she could do his tea for him. Also, there's talk about uh, from the feminists about women not wearing any knickers. Now, uh, I think we should put a stop to that. Uh, I think women should always wear knickers, and some of the looser ones should have to wear Scotty McClure's party pants in mild uh, Sheffield steel with a gusset lock to which mother holds the key. So uh, I think we want to take the moral high ground here rather than go down the spiral like that woman from Lincoln who's fallen in love with Scotty McClure. 0161 400 0000. I say 0161 400 0000. There's probably not much point in ringing just now because the lines are jammed, but uh, keep trying, keep trying, keep trying, and we will eventually get you all on.